Hi guys, how you doing? I know I look a little weird. I put a little lipstick on today. It's Saturday morning. I was supposed to have my shot on Tuesday, my injection of Ozempic. And um, today is November 2nd. And I started my injections on um, February 14th of 2023. This is two, 2024. I'm not feeling real good. I just got a new pacemaker. I guess I'll show you. I didn't really hurt the first time, but the second time they got to rip the old one out and adjust it. And it's um, it's not real painful. It's just kind of irritating. So if I wince once in a while, that's what it is. Uh, if I lay in bed or if I sit back in the chair and kind of scooch up, I don't have any pain at all, but any kind of movement hurts it a little bit. They said it'd be sore for about four or five days. Um, this is the fourth day, and it's not any better, really. Um, I'm going to... I've been staying at 151, which I started at 226. So that's, you know, my 75 pounds. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy to stay on it. It's just that... Um, I just really don't like food that much. I purposely didn't start my shot after I had my um, surgery on Wednesday. And I didn't do the injection Thursday, which I was supposed to do it on Tuesday. Because um, I thought I probably needed to eat to build myself up. And I have eaten, but I still don't eat that much. I'm on a point, uh, I'm a 2.0 which is pretty high. I think it's, I think it goes to 4.0 would be the highest. I don't know anybody that's on 4.0, but for Ozempic, that's pretty high. Uh, let me go get my stuff and I'll be right back. I have four months of it in time. What this does is it kind of pulls they, they just changed the generator. They didn't have to do the wires that go into the heart. So that part is a lot easier on your body. But um, I don't know. They, they kind of pulled it. feels like my whole neck is pulled. I don't know. I haven't seen it. But it's sore all around it. And I don't mean to be a baby because a lot of people are going through a whole lot worse things. But it's just irritating. <laughs> okay, this is my new Ozempic. I started in a new box. And um, I just kind of, maybe I need to put this down even a little bit further. There. Yeah. Open it up. And then push this little part down. Take out your little books, and these books are important. I read them the first time, but it's been a lot of weeks. I don't need to read them every time. If you have any questions at all, you call the pharmacy. They will, uh, it tells you right here, Ozempic, Novo, fine. They give you a number, 888-693-6742, if you have any problems at all. These people are very, very nice. Um, I've had to call them a few times. I had some problems, and uh, it was more in the financial range. <laughs> All right, when you open it up, you've got your, um, you've got your pen. <laughs> you cats watching TV. That's what your pen looks like. 
and you got your little box of needles. Yeah, this one contains <clears throat> four needles. It's good for four weeks. Your first um, two sizes, the, the point two and the point four. The <laughs> cat's got a toy. They have six because it uses the same pen and you need four or six. Okay, I just take one out. <laughs> I wish you could see this cat. She's carrying a little kitten around. It's a play kitten. And then I um, close it back up. Put it in the box. And I'm going to notate on here. Because I get mixed up. Because I was taking, I started taking on Fridays. Then I went to Saturdays. Then I went to Sundays. Then I went to Tuesdays. And now I'm back on Saturday. Because I haven't had one. I was supposed to have taken it Tuesday, so I'm way behind, but hasn't really done anything. So you write the day in here, so I'll write Saturday. And then today is November 1st, 11, 1. So then you can keep, keep track, so then next week, if you're as dingy as I am, you'll say, I wonder if I took my pill, my shot. My husband said I was a little heavy on the paint. I guess I am. All right. <laughs> I have to show you these kittens. Baby, what do you do with your little kitties, huh? Pinky, what are you doing? What are you doing, Pinky? She carries those babies all around. It's so cute. She's just a busy little cat. <laughs> she went in her little house. Look at her, Phil. <laughs> she wants her toys. She wants her little orange flower. Yeah, that's what she wants. That's her little, that's her toy box, and she wants her toys. You can get them. It's okay. I'm not getting them for you. I'm busy. <laughs> and I take a lot of films of her, so um, she is pretty, pretty comical. So if you want to see her and Sasha, you just look at one of my other channels. All right, I'm going to sit back and give you a, a show. I'm sorry that I'm a gimp today. She'll be fine next week. <laughs> the cat's messing with my feet. All right, let's see. I still think you can go down a little lower. Uh, let's see, is that good? Yeah. Okay, and I've just got pajamas on, and um, actually, I'm I'm in size small clothes now. My mediums were kind of falling off me. I don't know why, because I still feel fat. But I guess once you're fat, you feel fat. But um, these are big old pants, so I don't have to pull my pants down like I did last time. Hmm. All right, this is your pen. And I think maybe you want to come around over here. Is this too close? I could even make you down farther. Well, oh, this is just going to be a silly. Okay, this is good. Now you're pretty close. All right, you can see my leg, and I've got my pants on, so nobody can complain about that. <clears throat> and I shake it up. And now I don't know if I have any pads. Yes, I see a pad. Oh, if I can reach a pad. Okay. I have these little pads I got at the doctor's office. Actually, the doctor came here. And um, I use them to clean my leg. 
Cleanliness is next to godliness, I tell you every time. Make sure that you clean your leg before you put the needle in. Because um, my daughter and many other people have had terrible infections. You can die. You can get sepsis by sticking things into your body that aren't supposed to be in there. So um, make sure that you've got your your spot clear of anything. So, um, no, I guess you can't see the, the leg. Yeah, I guess you can. Okay. I put it halfway between my knee and my thigh because I feel like it hurts the least there. Kind of high, it's got a real bad sting, and kind of low, it aches. Sometimes I think you might get it in the muscle or something and me not being a doctor I don't know what I'm talking about but <laughs> I just know what I feel okay so I've got that pretty clean I shake up my pen and I take the cap off I've got my little needles well there's only one needle in here take off the little paper safety and I know some people think it's silly I show this every time but when you're new you don't know I had to have my daughter do it for me there's your double needle and you just screw it on top of the pen you don't want to get stuck okay and that's what it's going to look like take the top cap off ow, 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 that hurt. look like that don't throw it away. Then I'm going to have an inside cap. Take that cap off. Then you're going to have a little needle. I shake it up. Then I turn it. It's got a little number that will tell you. So that says zero. Um, you're going to go all the way to two. And I don't think this one will stop before that. Um, possibly it will. I'm, I don't ever, I've never seen a one on here. Nope. Goes right to two. Now on the first pen that you take, it has a point two five, and then it has a point five, because you do have different amounts. All right. Now there's your needle in it. You can see it has a little bit of juice on it. All right, I've gone back to the place that I've cleaned. And I'm not sure because that paper is messed up, so I'm going to clean it again because I'm a germaphobe. And it got onto my pajamas, and my cats have been on my pajamas, so I'm just going to show you that I'm just real careful. Make sure that I don't put any germs into my body, especially right now when I've trying to heal with my pacemaker okay so I'm getting it real clean all right I know that's clean now I've gone over it twice all right I've got my needle and I guess you can see this it's going right in it's in it didn't hurt at all you push the little button on the top That was fine. I've got a little tiny bit of, of an ache right now. Pull it out. Perfect. And then I just take my little thing and put it back on where I shot myself just to make sure that it's clean. That's all there is to it. And I'm assuming that that's kind of what they do when you have diabetes and you have to give yourself insulin. But I don't know, people say that that hurts more, so this this really doesn't hurt. What I do now is I take my two little caps, if I can find them. They're somewhere in my pajamas here. <laughs> well, come on, I found all my papers. I found the one cap. 
I'm sure I'll find it, but I'll put it on there for now. Does that not want to? Oh, we don't put that on there. We don't put that on there. We take the cap, the um, needle off. Then we put the cap on. That goes in the refrigerator. If you don't refrigerate it, it's going to go bad. If it goes bad, you're going to get sick. So never, ever, ever leave it out. Here's my needle. I saved those needles. Okay, I found the other cap. Um, I just put it in my bottle with the other. But I put my caps in the bottle, save them, and then um, when the, my bottle gets full, which it did at about a, a little bit over a year, then I put it in a, like a tied, tied um, plastic container, and I write on there sharps, and I put it in the garbage, and the garbage people won't get their hands in there. Because that would be a terrible thing. I don't. I don't want anybody to get sick from anything. But that's all you do. And um, like I say, I. It's the easiest way I've ever lost weight. I. I was a chubby kid. Then I was a skinny adult. Then I was a chubby adult. Then I was a fat adult. So I've been. I've seen life through all times round. Both here and there and all around. <laughs> I'm not going to sing. But I want you to know that. You're just the same person if you're heavy or thin. doesn't really matter. But what makes you happy and what makes you feel better is how you should be. And if you're happy heavy, that's fine. I actually was happy heavy. I didn't really care. My husband seemed to be happy with me. But I didn't feel good. And I started having some medical problems. And that's why I decided I wanted to lose the weight. And um, I actually think that I looked better with a little weight on. Not all of it. 226 is not going to be cute. But um, with a little bit of weight, I didn't have any wrinkles. And I looked younger. Um, but I'm going for the lesser looks and the better health. I don't know if it had anything to do with me having to have a pacemaker. But I know I had high cholesterol. And I had... Um, um, other problems. I had clogged arteries and I think all of that affected my heart. <laughs> the cat is into the food. Anyway, that's why I had to uh, have a pacemaker. So if I would have done this maybe 15, 20 years ago, which they didn't have it then, but if I would have lost the weight, I might not have had to have a pacemaker. And if I would have lost weight back then, it would have been a little harder because it's hard to lose weight. It's not hard to lose weight on Oz Ozma uh, uh, Ozempic. Very easy. The only thing is you miss food because you just really don't want it. You have to kind of force yourself to eat. And that's probably a dangerous thing if you, um, if you give into it and just don't eat. Because you could theoretically go and not eat. But um, I make myself eat. I give myself um, tea every day, and I have um, protein in it because my hair has come out. It's it's starting to come back a little bit. It's a little bit thicker, but it used to be real real thick. I always had fine hair. But you'll see that that you know it, you, when you make a change to your body, it's going to change more than just your blood. You're, um, you're changing the way God meant you to be. And um, he'll go along with it for a while, but you've got to follow the rules. If you don't follow the rules, you end up being sick. So whatever proteins and vitamins and minerals that you're missing, the doctor will let you know. And then you have to take those with them, um, you know, over the counter or prescription. And um, I take maybe... 11 prescriptions and I take about five over the counter um, and uh, it's it's not that bad but um, it'd be better if I was just thin and didn't have to go through all this and Ozempic is quite expensive 
but it's quite expensive having things like pacemakers and whatever else goes wrong with your body. So it's really best to just watch your weight. And um, I think it's I think it's healthy to be a little bit chunky. I do. If you ever get real sick, you need to have a little bit of meat to live off because sometimes you can't eat for a few weeks. Um, and that's I'm not a doctor, but I I just feel like being a little bit a little bit chunky is better than the way they kind of think. They everybody talks about being skinny. I don't think skinny's healthy. I think when you're skinny, you must must be missing something there too. But um. 226 on a five foot three woman is definitely heavy. And again, if you're happy that way and you seem to be healthy, some people are healthy. My um, daughter-in-law's father has been a great big man his whole life. He doesn't look any different than the day I met him 40 some years ago. And he's very healthy. I think some people can carry it, but this body couldn't. I was wearing size 22 clothes and now I'm wearing size 12 and um, my mediums are starting to fall off so I still have a have some meat on my thighs and I have like skin hanging like under my arms uh, but it's really just skin. There's no meat to it. I weigh 151, which I give the credit of those extra pounds to that meat because it's got to weigh something. But my middle is real small. And um, the bottom of my legs are small. And again, that wasn't the idea. I wasn't trying to get to be small. I'm trying to get to be healthy. I wish I didn't even have to have a pacemaker, but um, the damage is done. So the pacemaker's keeping me alive. The good news is I read that pacemaker puts your body back to the original length of um, life that you have, your life expectancy. <laughs> when I was born in 1945, my life expectancy was 62.9 years, and I'm 79, so I have to thank the pacemaker. <laughs> and. Um, I'm living on gravy, guys, but I feel good, feel comfortable, I'm happy. I'm going on a cruise with my daughter and her friend in um, February. My husband doesn't want to cruise this time. He said he's going to stay home with the cats. But um, you know, he's got the neuropathy, and he had to lose a bladder because of cancer. He's, he was a smoker. He doesn't smoke anymore. And... Um, he seems to be in really good health now, but, you know, he has to urinate into a bag. So everybody gets something. Don't think you're going to get out of this life free and clear. But um, God gave us good bodies. We have to take care of them. And the best way that I know how to take care of my body is take the Ozempic now because I messed up in the beginning. Uh, good luck to you all. And... I'll be seeing you. I'm going to give you another view of my crazy cats because they are really having a good old time. If I can turn this around. What are you doing, guys? What are you doing? What are you doing? Pinky. Pinky's got a toy. I guess you can see her. Yep, you can see her. I guess they're playing. Yes, Ash. Bye, guys.